everybody, welcome back to the decks where one time Captain Kirby paid the Beard Bros $250 to get us to do trivia and strategy for another Pokemon this week. I'm Team Yell Grunt Alex. And I'm Pokekels. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that somebody paid the Beard Bros money to bring us back from the dead? Is that legal? I mean, technically yes, but I haven't told you about what we're doing yet. Well, I mean, you that's just gotta... so messed up. Like, who? what are we going to even do an episode on? Like, Alchemy, Dragapult, the mystery of why people had full-on tantrums about a low poly tree? <laughs> Damn, dude, we've been back for 10 seconds and you already spilled the tea. Whatever, I'm a new woman now, my hair is green, and you can't bully me. Sword and Shield are the best Pokemon games in years. The Isle of Armor kicks ass, and if I'm doing an episode, it's gonna be on one of my favorites, not just some random Pokemon a patron from some other YouTube show decides. We're we're doing Don Fan. Like I said, Patreon is a good thing that people are good to do, and Captain Kirby is a saint, and if they don't bring back the national decks, I'm gonna get my baby bottle, and I'm gonna get my rattle, and I'm gonna bother people on Twitter until they can't stand it anymore and they get tired. It's Don Fan. Love Don Fan. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Man, we are in there. Got danger What's music and everything. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's somebody's fucking with us. Don't know who. But we're the Beard Bros. Maybe That's it's Alex. like a brass band in the darkness. My name's Brett. I see. I saw what? What is? It? It's mushroom. Got it. Wow! It really just looks like a mushroom now. Oh! Wow! That's huge. Indeed, it is. We're trying to find a shrine in the dark. In the dark. In the dark. That's why you had me say that. Oh, come Guys. on, fellas. Is this real? Imagine yeah. being an animal on the island that's in total darkness. Uh, evolution would probably dictate that you would lose your eyes eventually, right? That would be so fucked. Like wolves with no eyes? It's yeah. Like Bloodborne. Like cave rat wolves? Like skinless? Yeah. Not skinless, but like hairless. Yeah. That's what I always thought about. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting there like last time I watched Grimless, which was like a couple years ago. I'm like, what? under what conditions could these things exist? Mogwai? Yeah. I like, mean, if, like, where do we think they come from based do they explain on it? their physiology? No, they never explain it. They seem like some type of like, what, you know those guys that like open up their armpits, but they have like, uh, like poison <laughs> sacks in there or something? <laughs> what? They're like a type of animal that is like sometimes goes viral on the internet. They have like big eyes and they're not an eye eye, but it's like it's called like a slow sloth. You're thinking of a sloth. No, no, no. It's it's kind of like a sloth, but it's called like a slow something and oh, they like are very cute, but they like they when you scratch them under their armpits there's something that happens or something. Terrifying, okay. And I well, feel I was like- just, mm -hmm. Well, I was gonna say, I feel like Mogwai have like a primate energy to them, like a- Like a early primate, like one of those small mm -hmm. ones. But the- the gremlins... Themselves... Don't really have that. They don't really seem simian. Well, what I was Ooh, saying was that, uh, Oh, he's awake. Is he awake? Yeah, yeah he's, awake. he's up. <clears throat> what I was saying was that, like, th <coughs> think about it this way. Bright light fucks him up real bad, right? Right. So, it stands to reason that they're probably not somewhere where there's a lot of light. Easy peasy, right? No doubt. Uh, so that to suggest, like, maybe they're cave dwellers or some shit. You know what I mean? But then, like, the weirdest part about these dudes is, like, oh, we don't, uh, Get like, wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like getting wet makes us full on multiply. I'm like, okay, so that makes me think that there's somewhere where they're like, first off, do they need, do they drink? You know what I mean? I don't think they do. Maybe they oh, need he's to. Done. Wow. Maybe they, maybe it's like they're like a moving, like some type of tunneling creature, and then when they get to water, they like reproduce quickly because it's like a place okay. where they can live. So they're not only are they cave dwellers, they're like full on burrowers, like fucking uh, like moles, like, like uh, what are they called? Graboids or something? Yeah, sure, yeah. 
But they don't seem like... Like, their hands, they don't have claws, they don't really have sharp teeth. So maybe... Maybe the Mugwai don't dig, but the Gremlins dig. You know what I mean? So, but the Gremlins come from the water, right? No, they multiply in water. The Gremlins come, and here's the most fucked up part. When they eat after midnight. Oh, that's which right. still makes no sense Oh, that's to me. right. Okay. So now I'm just trying to think, like, what is it? Eating after midnight makes you crazy. They might have some sort of strict circadian cycle. Or they're from like, somewhere where there's many predators at night. Possibly. But, suggest, like, eating after midnight just doesn't make any sense to me. Period. Like... Just based on time, like, what does that even mean? You know well, what like, I mean? If a if a if a mogwai encountered, say, yeah. a falcon, okay, right, like, it would get bopped by the falcon, right. But if a gremlin encountered a fal falcon, I feel like you would like grab it and pull its wings off. Probably, right. Okay, so I feel What's like your the point? gremlin state is like a. Is like a aggressive, like the claws coming out state. Yeah, but they can't go back and forth. I feel like. Oh, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, they don't really go back and forth. Uh, so, I'm just trying to understand. Like, I'm trying to like justify a world where it's consistent for them to not eat after midnight. Because like, how would they know if indeed they are underground and shit? Like, how would they know what time it is? Also, like. Who determines what time, like, it doesn't make sense to me. So I feel like the only thing in nature that has to do with, like, time that way, like, of day, is usually some sort of, like, weird circadian rhythm, right? The things that, like, naturally, instinctually dictate, like, when we fall asleep, when we wake up, stuff like that. Right. So maybe these things have a strict circadian rhythm where, like, when, <clears throat> when it's night out, these dudes sleep, even though they're underground. You know what I mean? Like they just still feel the 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 time passing properly. Yes, and so when they're when it's when it's uh, morning, or when it's daytime, that's when they're awake and you know doing their thing. Okay. Which means that that they would only eat during the daytime. You but know then, what I mean? oh, yes. But then I'm my question is like, what's the deal with what's the relationship between Mogwai and food anyway? Do they always have food on them? Are they like? Chipmunks? Are you, oh, you're asking me like what they eat and how they eat in the wild? Like, okay, like a chipmunk or whatever, or a hamster or that type of guy has food on his person at all times and he eats it whenever he needs it, right? He's carrying it okay. with him, right? Okay. Okay. So is it a situation where like if if it if it was like that, right? Like imagine you're a mogwai and you in the daytime maybe you don't go anywhere or you don't move or you stay in your nest. But at night, you go out, or you're moving at night, uh, or you're always moving, and at night it becomes dangerous. And maybe you just have it, and then it's like a, it's like a situation like a sea cucumber, like blowing out all its guts when you touch it. But are you picturing these dudes like up and like on the surface? Because I don't think they are. I I don't know if they are or not. I I'm just trying to think of a situation where. Like, it doesn't need to be a falcon, but I mean, like, I'm just saying, I feel like it has more to do with the <clears throat> way that predators usually hunt at night rather sure. than it does sure. with anything about the Mogwai's lives, particularly. Sh because it's it possible, but we have to think about the physiological, like, I feel like there there's a physiological reason for them to only, I feel like they're, they're based on the fact that, like, there's a huge physiological change in them when they eat after midnight, suggests no to me that the reason they they you know usually don't eat after midnight is also physiological but what do they gain uh, from from becoming a gremlin like what is what is the what is that state for uh per, uh, perhaps i mean uh, evolutionarily perhaps as they're they're the mature gremlins who can only mate perhaps like maybe maybe when a gr no that's not how they reproduce fuck no they okay, they uh, reproduce by getting mogwai wet right Right. Okay. So, what if? But gremlins oh can get wet, right? No, because they just make more gremlins. Uh, oh, yeah. So, what if? What if the gremlin state? What if the gremlin state is a response to predators? That's so how like, I. That's how I gotta. But like, interpret but not like a choice or anything. Like, what if? What if this is something that happens where like. If there are predators around, it's kind of like Minecraft, and they can't sleep at night because they're like, "Fuck, we have to like we're we have to stay alert because there are predators around for some right. reason." 
And if there are predators around, that means they're awake. And if they're awake past the time they're supposed to be, they're likely to eat past the time they're supposed to be. And if they it's eat, it's like late, an Iron Man trigger. suit. Yeah, but like, and so they're kind of like the warriors. the 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 gremlins are the warriors of like the Mogwai race, right? You know but, what I mean? and, but then, but can you revert right afterwards? No, I will. I, maybe you can. I, they've never seen it in the two movies we got. I've never seen it. So once you're a gremlin, you're a gremlin. Yeah. Okay. So is that the? Okay. But maybe the gremlins are also used for the digging, right? Like if I, I, I'm I'm picturing these guys as subterranean creatures. Why wouldn't like, every Mogwai just want to be a gremlin? Uh, I guess for the same reason, I, 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 I don't think there's a want in it. Like, I think, you know, these are animals, so I feel like there's like a lot of instinct going on. I'm just saying I mean? like evolutionarily, like what, what's the benefit of being a mogwai if gremlins can reproduce and mogwai, uh, and mogwai are just a weaker version of gremlins? There might not be an answer to that. Perhaps mogwai are becoming vestigial. You know what I mean? I don't know. You also, think eventually fucking... they'll all be gremlins? It's possible, but I'm. Th I think I'm thinking the reason that like, because you know, in the movie, like no one had ever seen a fucking mogwai ever in, in that small town, right? Except right. like the only one who knew about it was the old Chinese man. So I'm figuring that they're probably indigenous to some small area in China, and they're probably super subterranean as well. You know what I mean? Or at least uh, <clears throat> caves. Yeah, yeah. Why did we say that they were subterranean before, like underground? Oh, the water thing. Yeah, yeah, just because they only reproduce when they get water, and I feel like either they're from the desert. Uh, oh, or, shit. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe they're desert dwellers. Maybe they they they're subterranean desert dwellers in China. They burrow, and then if they get undigged at night, they eat a little bit of their food supply that they have on their person, in their mouth, or whatever. And then they turn into a gremlin. And that gremlin beats the ass of whatever's there, and all the other mogwai get to sleep still? Maybe, yeah. It's the only thing that I can't figure out is why they need to have mogwais. Uh, I, I, I don't think there is a have. I think mogwai is probably the, the natural state, and the gremlin is probably, like, an evolutionary response. Uh, probably. So, like, the fact that they're still mogwai is probably still... Just part of their evolutionary cycle. Yeah, it's like like that's just how they started, and it yeah. might get bred out eventually. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this conversation as we are. I'm fucking fascinated by this. I'm just trying to <laughs> so I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. You know what I mean? I bet you somebody thought about this. <laughs> I bet Is you this worth an, it? I bet you there's an IDW comic series about this. I've never seen a mo a mobble in that color. Which one? The black one? No, no, the one down there in the pit. He's like white, but he doesn't have the black markings. He has like gold markings. Oh my god. Is that a Red Zelda exclusive? I don't- I- I couldn't tell you. Let's ruin his fucking life, what do you say? I don't know, there's two of them. Yeah, well, I got four Divine Beasts, how about that? Uh-oh. Dude. I didn't think it would last that long, otherwise I would've just spun, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. This guy's got... This guy's got a weird outfit on. Uh-oh, oh. here comes this guy. Let's just do this. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This guy's having the worst day of his life. Dude, I've never seen these guys. Nah, me neither. They're fucking supreme... <gasps> oh, a rock?! <laughs> Come here, you clown. Whoa, that was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, what a clean little block that was. You think this guy was the the big boss? The white? The... I don't know. I, th that Those gold guys had a lot of HP. Yeah, but like, there were two of them. And, you know, they, they just may be the enforcers, you know what I mean? They could be the king and queen. Hmm. Of this skull house. Let's talk about Moblin physiology now. Physiology? <laughs> yeah, like they're hyper evolved. Yeah, they're pretty intelligent. Yeah. Like anything that that like knows enough to be shamed and wear a loincloth, hyper intelligent. Do you think they made this? Th this structure? Yeah. There's no way. I mean, it's I a think fucking skull. Were, 
I think that they I think that they were giant creatures. Yeah, they were giant creatures then and, and they just like turned the they like wherever that skull fell, they were like, This will be a good place for Do you for think a, that the Hinox and the goblins and everybody all came from a much bigger creature that now That's a good is question. extinct? Because look at so this. Considering considering the fact that like there seems to be that common structure of like the the cut like the colors denote how strong it is they probably do share some sort of common ancestor either that or there's something indigenous in their diet around here that like if you eat enough of it it changes your color and also changes like how sturdy you are does that make sense yeah i agree this is the most scientific episode it's like the godzilla's <laughs> equation explain the godzilla equation you know, people are like Godzilla, like wouldn't work because he's too big. He would just like crush himself every time he takes a step. Oh, like like he wouldn't be able to support his own weight. Yeah, maybe the gravity has gotten worse on this planet. Explain. Go on. Like slowly, maybe the gravity has gone down, <clears throat> or maybe it's the other way. Maybe the gravity has go gone up, so they have to get smaller. Hmm. So that they can like walk. Because I think Godzilla could make it on like the moon. Just because everything's kind of lighter and he kind of will float a little bit. Could a creature, like, I don't know the math on this, like, this couldn't support its own weight, he'd die. Like, could a creature the size of Godzilla support his own weight if his bones were made of sturdier stuff? Maybe, but, like, it's not really about bones. Like, it's more about, like, imagine all that flesh just, like, hanging there. You'd, like, you'd, like, shake it off its own bones with its own weight. Really? That's how that works? But here's the thing. The thing about Godzilla is he's like a nuclear beast. So yeah. there's well, no, there's like, the Hulk dinosaurs. The Hulk is, like, invincible. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Ted, could, Ted, Ted says there were big dinosaurs, but I don't think any of them were nothing, as big as Godzilla. Nothing compared to Godzilla. True, but like, a T-Rex is, like, 40 feet tall max. Oh. Godzilla's like, I'm gonna fuck this building. But, but if you're looking for a real-world reference point... That's a good place to start. Dinosaurs, yeah, of course, but I think the same thing happens with the dinosaurs, just the bigger it gets, the more flesh that is physically. Like, I think it's got to be mostly bone and no flesh if it's going to be that big. Look at this guy. Look at him. He doesn't know. He has no idea. He's kind of chunky, though. Damn. You know? Uh, He... What what did it say, Major? Modest, so it's in the middle of the road. This is Get modest. Get shit out of here. It's got so much health. Whoa. All right, I have no shield right now. Stop. Stop. Jerk. Whoa. It's not bad. That's too early. Let me try again. Look at that. Before he even swung. Did you see that? Uh. What is this? What is this part? Alex, are you still with me? Yeah. Can you not hear me? I, 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 you just didn't say anything for the past couple seconds. I was wondering if I lost you again. Oh, I've been talking. That's weird. Oh, whoa, it didn't record my audio either. Uh-oh. That's weird. I mean, it's doing it now. I don't know. That was weird. Got him, dude. Easy peasy. Is this four? Four? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. What do we level up? I think we go... I think we go stamina forever now. You think so? That might like, be smart. Like, dude, what 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 what, what can kill us? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We're immortal, dude. I mean, it. before it was a problem of like, we get smoked by a white goblin and he takes like eighty percent of our health away. But we could we could just decide on a set of armor and then like go to the fairy lady and make it bigums. Nice. Yeah, I think it might be right. Maybe we do do stamina. Stamina. Mm, I need a break. Get a break, it's what I need. Can you tell us how goblins and gremlins are made, please?
He's like, I don't know, dude. They were high when they wrote that. <laughs> they were high when they wrote that, dude. Don't put too much stock into it. I think. <sighs> yeah. I think this is it. I think next time we're going to do the fucking island, man. I feel great. Look at you. Washed off, clean, anew, just like me, in my mind. Link and us are linked together. Get it? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. You think that's supposed to look like a dude? I do not see a dude. Oh, the other thing do we you? need to do is get all the towers. That's the other thing we said we'd do. <clears throat> okay, that's fair. But dude, rainbow. Oh, nice. This might be a poor idea. I don't know if I'm going to make this. How are you supposed to get here? That ha This has to be the way. Oh, I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know if I like have enough stamina or maybe I should have, you know. Okay. Honestly, I think you're, it's looking pretty good. You've got 25% of your meter and you're like almost there. If I hit that water without any stamina, I'm done for. Uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> oh boy. You think we can make the beach? Hell yeah, you're, you're, you're golden. I don't know, bro! <laughs> Look at that. Next time on Red Zelda, uh, Naked and Afraid. <laughs> oh my god. Who do you think's writing all this? <sighs> the guy that wrote Gremlins? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. You think that cloud was ominous or a coincidence? <laughs> it's just, it's just good, good game direction, man. Yeah. All right. Even Tide Island, baby. This is where we live. I love that. Better, man. Oh! You won't throw away these snacks no more. Why get these snacks? Kill that man. No. Why not? You I can just take an elevator. Why get these snacks? 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 Why get these snacks?